Hello everybody. One of the problems that I've had was all of the junk that was left behind that I've been having to clean up since I got out here. Well, I've been trying to make problem solutions. This is a bunch of old carpet and I don't know exactly why, maybe some kind of erosion control or something, but all over out here there is tons and tons of carpet that was spread out all over the ground. So, I found a solution to a problem. Rather than hauling the carpet off and paying $35 a truckload to take it to the dump and it's too full of dirt and wet and stuff like that to, to burn it, so I found a solution for it. I'm taking the carpet. <coughs> I bring the carpet over here. Here's another example of carpet on the ground. <coughs> Just having to dig it up, get to all of it, but I've got tons of it. Livestock guardian dogs. Got a problem with coyotes, raccoons, anything that's going to eat your eggs or your chickens or your goats. Grab some dogs. They will take care of the problem. Anyway, here's the pond that I've been working on. So far, I've been digging it by hand. It's roughly 30 feet by 22-ish feet, I guess, depending on where on that side you're at. It's left a little bit of height in some places for when the water goes down. Left kind of a ramp area on this side. I'm going to put some stuff in it so that the fish can get in and hide. But, where the rocks are underneath, this whole bottom right here is one solid rock. And it's sandstone, so the water seeps. So I've got to line the pond. There's places where the rocks are kind of sharp. So, what I did is I raked up all the stuff that was loose debris that was in here. And I'm getting all that old carpet, and I'm laying that old carpet and lining the bottom of this. After I lay that carpet down, that will keep from puncturing holes from the rocks that are underneath that are kind of sharp. So I'll just line the whole bottom of this with that carpet. That gets rid of the carpet. <coughs> Keeps the sharp edges from the rocks like this right here from poking through the liner that I'm going to lay in here. And then I'll lay the liner in and run the liner all the way around the edges, flatten it down at the bottom. Say hi, Ashley. Anyway, they wanted some progression videos of things I was doing as I was doing them. Here's one. I'll come back a little bit later and show you what it looks like. Well, stage two. That's where we got so far. If everything goes well, that nice cloudy sky will drop enough rain to fill this thing up. Anyway, I'll come back with more along the way. Now we can kind of show a step-by-step -step stage. Say hi, Ashley. And the ducks are loving it. 